Hi, I'm Althea Harper, and we are in my New York studio where I design my signature line, Althea Harper. I love getting inspiration from all sorts of different vintage garments, and the thrift store is a really great place where you can find affordable and unique pieces. On a recent trip, I found some really great prints and some great detailing. With a little bit of TLC, I can make these garments look brand new. This project is easy and requires only very basic sewing. So let's get started. First up, we have a pair of pants and we're gonna turn these into shorts. Now you can do that with any pair of pants that you have, even something that's been in the back of your closet for ages. Usually I recommend about the mid thigh as a good length for shorts because I think it works well on most body types. However, due to the print and the fit of these pants, I'm gonna go a little shorter. The first step to making the shorts is to make sure that we prep the fabric. I like using the Rowenta Steamium because it has a digital display which allows me to pre-select the steam output so I can use it for any type of fabric. That makes sure that I don't have any risk for damaging my pieces. So now I'm going to use my ruler and measure my inseam and make sure to add an inch and a half for my hem. I'm going to take those marks out and use those as my guidelines. It's time to cut the hem. And now it's set the hem with the iron. Okay, it's time to sew. Now I just give a final press. And now I've got our shorts. So the shorts turned out great, and now we're gonna move on to the dress. This dress has beautiful detailing, and we're gonna transform it to an A-line silhouette for more of a flattering cut. To create the A-line look, we're gonna wanna turn the dress inside out, just like I have here. And we're lucky here because we've got a raw edge, so we just need to go in and bring in through the waist and then out through the hem to create that A-line look. If you need help, grab a friend, use a mannequin, or even yourself to get a better fit. And now we're pinned and all ready to sew. And now I'm going to use my pinking shears to cut the side seam. The steamium has a small trigger underneath the handle that pumps a burst of steam that'll help me set the side seam. Although this dress is meant to be wrinkled, I can use my iron to give it a bit of a steam so I can get that polished look without ruining the texture of the fabric. It's done, let's see how it looks. 